This is the other thing. This is exciting, so um, hold on for the bag. This is more than just a haul. I mean, you've got an Hermes unboxing at the end, and it's a mega unboxing. It's the most amazing bag ever. And I bought other bits at Hermes, which I never knew I normally do. Unless I'm gonna work out in the gym every day and squeeze myself into them, which I'm absolutely not, I still don't think they're my vibe. I'm sick of wearing that kind of look, so like, I've found dresses like this, it's all from high and high streets. My top tip for Paris. I filmed so many videos today, but even though you're seeing this at the beginning, it's at the end of the day. I'm hot, it's very humid. Today is a good video. I don't film that many videos anymore, but when I do, they're good ones. And this is more than just a haul. I mean, you've got an Hermes unboxing at the end, and it's a mega unboxing. It's the most amazing bag ever. And I bought other bits at Hermes, which I never knew I normally do. Okay, so here's a backstory before you see this haul. I am going to Paris. You know I go there a lot. I absolutely love Paris. I don't even know how many times a year we go and I was packing. Now, this is what's been happening to me, and I know so many of you, and I don't want to exclude men, because I know that you feel like this as well, but I really am talking about the hormones of a woman, how much of a struggle it is after a baby, and I honestly am someone who really was fine putting on weight. I didn't mind the stretch marks, I didn't mind that I put on weight. I have not dieted or done one bit of exercise since my baby was born, and he's three. It does not bother me but I started to not feel myself. Combined with this, like I was feeling sluggish, I realized that I weren't even wearing like my favorite jeans and a t-shirt because I liked the way that it fit snug and it weren't, ha like I'm just feeling uncomfortable. That's all it is and sluggish. Combine this with, I won't get into it too much of it, but I am gonna share it probably next month, but just in very short, you know I've been going to Dubai to see a really good doctor because I had some health issues. I think I've come to the end of that, it was not the result I wanted, but I discovered everything I needed to fix and I'm kind of on like this road to recovery, I'm exercising more and I feel like I'm getting more of me, I mean she says I've been on the Peloton twice, but I've been eating super healthy since January and working out and I already feel better. So I'm going to Paris and I'm actually excited to make a bit of an effort with my outfits, but I have changed the way that I dress. Obviously, everything I've been buying, I absolutely love and I wear them, but I'm not choosing them every day to wear. So I did this haul, it was my first of many, where I'm picking out things that I is nicer than like leggings and a joggers. I still look nice, like a nice leather jacket, amazing bag, good quality joggers. Like I feel, still feel good, but I'm sick of wearing that kind of look. So like I've found dresses like this. It's all from High and High Streets, all from Suzanne, which is one of my favorite, favorite High Streets stores. I do work with them, but this video is not sponsored. I'm doing this because I'm literally packing for Paris. Um, I buy so much from there. My top tip for Paris, for what you, for, you know, if you don't know what to wear, because I get asked this question all the time, what should I pack for Paris? Honestly, go on Cezanne. It's a Parisian brand, it's very good quality, it's very good prices, it's high street but high end, but you know, any cheaper you're gonna get rubbish, and any more is gonna be a lot more expensive. Everything is chic, everything is like Parisian vibes, everything I get from there is like classic staple, capsule kind of vibes and I re-wear everything over and over. Like 70% of my suitcase is Suzanne, like all the core pieces, and Sam Ruslo. So I'm gonna start off with this dress. I'm gutted that it sold out in black. It's, I was a little bit worried it was gonna be clingy and just like hug me in all the wrong places, but it's thick, it's a perfect shape. It actually looks, um, it's actually quite thick, um, and it's not too tight. I think it's like nice for in the evening. You could pair it with heels, you could pair it with ballet pumps, you could even wear it with trainers. It's one of my absolute favorite pieces. Look good with a crossbody. Like this is gonna be the most amazing dress for me to wear. Like Paris is very humid and hot as well. We walk everywhere. 
and I will just be really happy with this with a pair of pumps when it comes to autumn, a pair of gr uh, cream knee-high boots, like layering it over with a knitwear. This is literally going to take me until spring, like maybe not the thick of winter, but autumn and spring and summer, obviously, the whole way through summer. It's the most amazing dress, like if you're going to get anything, get this. And if it comes back in black, let me know. Another piece that I got recently was this leather skirt. I needed a new one because my one was a bit too um, small. I might swap this for the bigger size, you know. Yeah, I think I might swap it for the bigger size. Um, this one fits perfectly. It does fit pretty perfect, really. But I just really wanted it with like a t-shirt, ballet pumps, or with my black Chanel boots and tights in the winter. I always love a good black leather skirt and I needed a new one and I was really shocked by the price it was um, like around a hundred pounds for like a really nice smooth 100% leather and it will just last forever and it is true to size I'm not sure if I want to get bigger like to be baggy but I think I need to start wearing my true to size such an amazing high street black leather skirt amazing shape amazing quality the zip feels really good quality and that you can pair style endlessly t-shirts knitwear shirts it's good for work when i was styling it, it reminded me of when i used to work at harrods and them all black outfits i used to wear um so already just this and this i would be able to go for four days in paris and just like restyle these two and they're both work day to night you just can't go wrong with suzanne um, this is a dress you might recognise from Dubai. I had it in cream and I loved it so much. I ordered it in navy when I was away um, in Dubai. It's just so elegant. I'm not pregnant, but this would make the perfect pregnant pregnancy dress, post-pregnancy, or just like me if you're just feeling a bit like, mm, and you know, you want to feel comfy and floaty. And I love maxi dresses, but I don't feel like in shape for them. I just think this is so elegant. Every time I'm packing, I imagine me walking down the street in Paris for coffee, because that's what we do like all day. I imagine going to like a cafe restaurant. We just go to like the random ones. We don't go to anything fancy. Maybe I'll go to one. Um, and also walking into Hermes, like maybe I'll try and get an appointment. I mean, we're about to see a huge unboxing. I do not need anything else. But I always think, oh, what would I wear? Like, I might get an appointment. I might pop in there to buy a belt. And I want my outfit to be walking around Paris Vibes Coffee, walking in around the gardens. But also I might want to pop into Hermes and look presentable but comfy. And normally we don't go back to the hotel and change. It's very rare that we do that. So all of my outfits I wanted, like, day to night, super casual. Like, this is actually, like, quite nice in the heat. So a navy is so flattering, so Parisian. I loved the cream one so much, but the navy one's easier to wear. I actually took that to South of France with me. Um, this is another one of my absolute favourites. I've already ordered it in the other colour. I'll link the other colour. It's um, just a really like nice nautical knitted dress. It's nice and fine knitted. It's got some beautiful details. It just looks so beautiful with my ballet pumps. Um, and I think it'd look really nice with like some navy heel pumps as well, but just I just wanted nice, casual, chic, elegant looks to go with my like ballet pumps and this whole nautical vibe with my pumps and my jumbo white Chanel. That's gonna be the first thing. That's gonna be what I wear on the first day, maybe this. So already like I've only got like five pieces here and it's more than enough to like mix and match. Picked up another shirt from Suzanne because I absolutely love their shirt. This is an old one that I have, I got it embroidered. They still do this one. This is the MAC shirt. I love it. Get it in every colour. I really want the green striped and the beige striped. I go up two sizes. Um, and I might next time go up just one size. That was my true to size and I want it a bit bigger. I want a bit too much with this one. But they are beautiful cotton shirts. And I just love putting on a cotton shirt with oversized tailored trousers and this. And I look super smart and super formal. But actually it's the most casual outfit. I don't know if I filmed it. But I'll definitely put up a picture of me wearing it with tailored trousers. Ballet pumps, like I'm comfortable. I can work, walk all day long. I can play with Honoré, chase after him. But th this has been a struggle and I know that a lot of other people have been asking me this and I'm happy to tell other people, but you know, I really forgot myself. And I really, I just didn't have a complex about it, but I've been not feeling myself. Like 
I'm like, oh, when I will I be ready to like go into my old clothes? And I think the key thing is I'm not gonna go back to those old clothes. Like, unless I'm gonna work out in the gym every day and squeeze myself into them, which I'm absolutely not, I still don't think they're my vibe, like wearing it exactly how I did. I've still kept everything and I will wear it. But I've just tweaked my style a bit. Like I probably wouldn't have worn this dress and I absolutely love it. It's so, it's just so chic and simple and I just love it. Like imagine with knee high boots and like a long camel coat. I'm gonna get so much wear out of this and it was such a good high street price. You have to check out this dress. I'm literally gonna get it in every color. Um, so yeah, shirts, I just love shirts. You can like roll them up, you can have them open, you can really style them up, you can tile them up. I've got um, a long knitted skirt, or where is it here? Love knitted skirts, I haven't found a good one in a long while. This comes in navy and black and I already snapped those up and I nearly bought it but I just thought this could be icky. It's amazing, I actually wore it to pick up my Hermes bag that you're about to see. It was freezing and raining and I was so cold and when I walked in, it was pouring down the rain. You would see on my TikTok, because I didn't vlog, but I filmed. And at the end, I went on the Hermes Garden. It was a boiling hot, glorious sunshine. But it was fine, because I had my... It's actually a Cezanne t-shirt that I've worn to death. It's actually gone grey, and it's sold out. It's the most amazing t-shirt I've ever had, and it's all sold out. So keep, keep an eye on my stories for that. Um, I took it off, and I just wore it with that. And I had some really cute... Um, cream boots that I've got from the sale in flannel, so I'll link them below as well. And then I wore it with this knitted jumper, which I got. I, I find that the jumpers come up quite small, because I think, I don't know, Parisians are smaller than English people, I don't know. Um, I always size up, so that's just a beautiful jumper. I wore it, I put up a picture here, I wore it over my shoulders um, the day before, because I don't know what's going on with this weather. I leave the house cold, and then it's hot, so it looks really cute around the shoulders. Love those two together. And this is literally all I'm going to pack. I've got my cream tailored trousers, which you saw in the picture. And I think that's pretty much it. The dress that's gonna come in the other color, and I'm done. I'm ready to go to Paris. Like, everything here is so amazing. I'll link a few other bits that I've got, like old pieces that I'm gonna take, probably pack with me. I'll link them as well. Um, but please do keep an eye on my Instagram because I'll be wearing everything on there first, and I'll be, sharing like some new bits and things that are back in stock. So I don't want to be too long because you're now going to see me going to Hermes and I know you probably want to see that, but I'm, just, I'm so happy with this dress. I'm literally going to stalk that website to see if there's any more. It comes in like every color, but they're all sold out. It's so good. I've also got these earrings as well. Oh, completely forgot, nearly forgot to tell you about the uh, shirt. So I've worn this so much, it's in the, um, it's in the wash. This is, I'll put up some pictures here, I don't know if you film with me, but it's an oversized white shirt. You can wear it with no like shorts under, because I'm like going to the park with Honoré, I had little shorts on, but you, it's such thick material that you, um, like a thick cotton fabric you couldn't see. Um, and I wore it when I went shopping in Hermes, so I literally was like, from the pool in my house, we went to the beach after Hermes, and then I shopped in Hermes, and it was just like a really great all-rounder, all-rounder piece that I just felt like, fine in the heat, fine on the beach, but then also going to Hermes. So that's quite hard to achieve. It's the most amazing dress. I'll put up the pictures. It's literally a shirt dress. I've been wearing shirt dresses since I've been clubbing 16 years old and I would always just buy them oversized. This is the first shirt dress I've come across. There's actually a shirt dress. It's the right length at the front. It's a bit longer at the back. Snap it up. It just come back in stock. I literally don't even have it here because it's in the wash. It's phenomenal. So I have that, definitely going to pack that with me, and I'll probably pair it. I think I'm going to wear like a white vest top, and then have the shirt open with a leather skirt and black pumps, and my new bag that you're about to see. So I will leave you with the vlog of me going to Hermes, um, and to see everything I bought in Hermes. Enjoy. I absolutely love this bag. Um, and now I'm gonna pop out for a little dinner. I'm wearing them with these shoes, by the way. They're so old. Do do subscribe. You're gonna. I'm gonna say this one in a minute, but do subscribe. I'm gonna vlog going to Paris, and um, might have got another cheeky something in can. Not sure if we've already seen that video, but yes, might have another Amazon unboxing coming as well. Got time for a little unboxing? Yeah, it might be a bit of a long video. I've just seen that haul, but I didn't want to wait any longer. I don't. I hate teasing you when it comes to unboxing. Um, and I want to wear everything. So, little backstory. Um, it's so humid today. 
Little backstory, I was on a wish list for this bag at the London store for a year. Sorry, I need to sort myself out. Compose yourself, Claire. Do you know what it is? I've just filmed this on TikTok and I'm still getting it into the TikTok. You know, the younger generation of like one and everything under a minute. I've been doing YouTube 45 minute videos. Do you remember back in the day when people were doing like 15 to 20 minute videos max and I come out with my like 45 minute episodes? I honestly was one of the first people to start that and it weren't a good thing. I just couldn't get to grips with YouTube. And I am trying to get them shorter. I don't like the editing. It takes more time for me. I just need to filter what I'm saying. It's not a good thing, I'm not bragging. But um, imagine going from that to one minute on TikTok and now I'm just like an anxious mess. At least now I can speak a little bit longer. So, this is the old school way of doing the YouTube videos. I feel like I'm like being suppressed into being like Gen, Gen Z, Gen X, whatever it's called, Gen Z. Um, okay, so had my name down for a year. I actually wanted it before, but I prioritized another bag. The Hermes wishes have actually changed a lot. Excuse the light, it will just keep changing. It's changed a lot. So back in the day, you could put a wish for, I would like a Birkin 25 and a Mini Kelly. And you were allowed to do that. It then changed in the last two, three years that you can only put a Birkin. You can only put a Kelly. So it's a lot more strict this time, um, like compared to what it used to be, which obviously I prefer it being more relaxed, but it's fine all part of the game, right? Um, so I prioritised the other one, which was a mini Kelly, and I have to be honest with you, I turned this bag down. I went in on an off chance, which never happens to me. My essay just happened to be free for that five minutes, and she offered me this bag, and I didn't take it. And you want to know why I didn't take it? It's because I'm, I am so sensible with my money. Although I had the money to buy it, if I can't afford to buy things twice with my spare money, to me, I can't afford it. But I was crazy not to buy it, and it, it's been haunting me ever since. And I finally got it. But let's start with these bits. I'll start with what I bought Paris. Um, and I, I, won't, I won't be long until I get to there. But I bought him an Apple Watch for his birthday. You know that Apple straps are so bad. And um, he asked for this, and they had like so many colours. And he picked the Etope. I had my Etope bag at the time, and uh, he got me my Etope Mini Kelly last year and we both loved that colour so he was really happy with that he actually just can't find his Apple Watch now so I got that for him um, seeing as I was in Hermes for two hours it's the least I could do now this I always get asked this on Instagram Claire why don't you have any of these they've never been for me and it's like the rodeos I mean it's not a rodeo it's not a horse but it's the charms I am not into like the whole dressing up Birkin thing I think it's really nice on other people I just think it's you know I'm more like masculine energy and I think all those trinkets are quite feminine there's nothing wrong with it but I saw this and you know what I think with the charms is that when one really sings to you like I say to the twinnies then get it and I love sea horses and they normally come in really random color contrasts and this is so up my street. It's gold and grey, which are two of my favourite Hermes colours. And it also works well on black or it's just such a good neutral. And it's so hard to find a neutral charm like this. And I, it was love at first sight. They actually had some amazing colours. I'll put up the picture here. I always get like really worried to do videos. I, did, I don't even video my essay like bringing the bag out, which I love watching those boxes, but I just get, I'm so like overwhelmed. I was talking to my essay after the appointment and I was saying we were all gonna go for lunch. I, I was saying to my essay, I couldn't even go for lunch. I, I honestly get like an over, overstimulated and I have to just go home and sit on my own. It's still such a big thing, but that's why I love it. Like I don't save all my money to be buying it for the wrong reason. I still love playing the game, I still love the journey, I still love the waiting, and I still get so excited. And I actually want this to all stop so then I can start saving money for other things. Okay, so this is the other thing. This is exciting, so um, hold on for the bag. Um, these I've wanted for a while, but I haven't like gone out of my way to like really get them. 
probably know what they are already. It's the Shipras. These are the only ones that they had in my size, but I was so happy. There was one color that I wanted and I'm still gonna be after that color, but considering we're coming into autumn, these are gonna be so nice for autumn and spring. I love Sheerlin. Black is so easy to wear. They're so comfortable. I got true to size. I'm a 39 and a half. Absolutely love them. Um, I know that many people get the shippers online. Loads of people get them online. You've been so patient. So let's get into it. I like to show you the bag so that you don't get too um, frustrated. And then we'll go through the price, why I like it, all of the backstory. I've already opened this on TikTok, so it's technically already been opened. And I always say, this is an amazing bag, I really love this one, but I really love this one. This is so amazing. And one of my favorite things about this is I haven't seen anyone with it. It's in blank with palladium hardware in swift leather, which is typically the leather that they do for the pochettes. And uh, you can see it's slightly bigger than the mini. It has a slightly different top handle and it comes with no strap. Now I'm happy to not have a strap because I love wearing a top handle. I love that it's got something slightly different and also you're gaining this extra room. So it's equally as amazing to me. I'll show you it inside already taken the fluffy bits out now as I said before or did I say that on TikTok I can't remember definitely go check out the TikTok videos because I think I'm saying different information now this was a wish list bag but it's not a quota bag that's just it inside it's pretty similar to the Kelly to be honest um I cannot believe that this is not a quota bag and I remember when the Constance you remember when the Constance wasn't a quota and now it is in England anyway um, this is going to be a quota soon and although it's so hard to get hold of, you know, it took me a year, it is a wishlist bag, if you work at Hermes or you know your Hermes, yes, this is such a hard bag to get hold of. However, it's not as hard as a Mini Kelly or um, like a Kelly 25 is so in high demand at the moment in the Epson. I think that if you want to have a mini bag, I honestly think you should start looking at this, and I shouldn't even be telling you this, because I really want to have another one, and there's just going to be no chance after you start putting down for wishes, but I really want you to get a good bag, and this is sensational, it's slightly cheaper than the mini, because it's technically a clutch, it doesn't have like a strap, it's technically a clutch, even though it's bigger, it is cheaper than the mini Kelly, it, it is just the most sensational bag, you get that mini vibe, but you get the extra room, I honestly would love so many more, but you know, I'm an Hermes addict, I just can't believe I haven't seen more people with this, I've seen obviously the odd people have them, but you know, it's not gone like super, you know, like all through all the influencers and everyone on social media, you barely see them, so I think if you come back in six months to a year, this is probably going to be a quota bag. The resale value on the pre-love market is going to be insane compared to what it is now. And you're going to be seeing a lot more people with them. So I really think like, not only is this an amazing unboxing to show you, I just really think this is an Hermes bag for you to watch. If you can't get hold of a mini, try and get hold of one of these. If you've already got a mini, I really recommend that you um, like explore the Pocher. I think it's absolutely incredible bag. I cannot wait to wear it. It doesn't bother me that it's why I'm not precious. If it gets a little stain or a mark, I really don't mind. And I think that's because I'm here to enjoy it. I'm not a reseller. I don't care if it gets marked. And I love vintage bags, so I love when it's a bit, like, I don't mind if it gets marked. If you, if you mind, then, you know, don't use them. So that's the end of the video. I'll link, don't forget, I'll link everything, like, all the pieces that I showed in the haul. Um, I'll put the prices to this because I always can't remember at the top of my head. I'll put all the prices down. If I see anything like pre-love that's super amazing, I'll link that as well. But any questions, please do let me know on the comments. Please go follow me on Instagram where you can see me wearing this and then head over to TikTok where I do a lot of short, stressful videos where I like give tips on Hermes and bags and I try to make the, the content very different. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the new bag. I cannot wait to wear it. Uh, do subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.